we're going to measure the surface conductivity and pH of the sample painting in two different ways. The first, we're going to use a drop of water, which is the less good way, but more straightforward conceptually. What we're going to do is put a drop of distilled deionized water, and it has to be a fairly large drop, on our surface. We're going to wait a minute, and then we'll pick that up, put it into the calibrated conductivity meter, and then when we have a reading, we'll transfer it out of the calibrated conductivity meter into the calibrated pH meter and get the pH reading. One of the things you can observe when you put the drop of water on the surface of the painting is the contact angle of the drop of water to the paint film, which is an indication of how much surfactant is present on the paint film. If it spreads out, there's a lot of surfactant. If it has a, um, a sharp angle at the contact surface, it means there's little or no surfactant, and it's a very hydrophobic surface. It's been a minute now, so we'll pick up the drop of water as best we can. Blot the surface, put the drop of water into our conductivity meter, wait for the happy face, and we have a reading of 142 micro siemens. Now we take that drop of water out, and put it onto the pH meter. As with the calibration step, we want to make sure that we have both the measuring electrode and the reference electrode dampened and in contact uh, or bridged by the water. Again, we wait for a happy face. And we have our happy face and our pH is 6.52. So we've determined both the pH and conductivity of this surface. In these images by Bronwyn Ormsby, we see why the large drop of water method of measuring the conductivity and pH of the paint surface can be problematic with acrylic paints. In the first image, we see a soil titanium white paint film. In the second, we see the drop of water on that paint film. The drop of water picks up ionic and acidic components, but it also swells the acrylic paint surface. The third image is a surface after the water drop has been removed and the area gently blotted dry. In the fourth image, we see the problem. After the area is surface cleaned, we find that the drop of water has swollen the acrylic paint surface, causing the soiling to be absorbed into the swollen paint. The better way to take a surface pH conductivity measurement is to use an agarose stiff gel. This is 4% agarose in distilled water with a small amount of preservative in it. So what we need to do is cut little plugs of the agarose using a little punch and typically you do a number of them. Because there is the preservative in this, we want to soak it in distilled water for a few minutes so that we can rinse the preservative out. We don't want to handle the plugs with our fingers because the salt on our fingertips will add to the conductivity we measure. So we always use a pair of tweezers to handle them. So once they've been rinsed, we fish one of the plugs out of the distilled water where we're rinsing that preservative out. Retrieve it with our tweezers, which is not as easily done as said. We cut off a piece of that plug for our measurement, blot the excess moisture off with tweezers, place that on the surface, we place the plug on the surface typically for two minutes. It, the agarose is basically just a sponge holding that water. It's non-interactive. It picks up the ions on, from, on the surface, suspends them in the gel, so we can then use that piece of gel to measure the conductivity and the pH. So it's been about two minutes. We pick up our plug, and you notice there is no residue or wet spot on the surface. We push the plug into the conductivity meter so that it is contacting both of the measurement electrodes in the conductivity meter, the two little black squares. After we get our reading, we remove the plug from the conductivity meter and transfer it to the pH meter. Mm -hmm. 
and add a drop of distilled or deionized water to bridge between the reference and measuring electrode with the plug in the middle. And we get our pH reading. <laughs> 